Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question hash nine. That is, how do you test OTP? That is one time password feature in applications. In order to answer this question, we should have a basic knowledge on this OTP feature. OTP stands for one time password and it is implemented by the applications to enhance the security measures. So for example, let's say there is a net banking application where the people can transfer amount from their account to other accounts. Okay. So before they transfer the account, this kind of banking applications will send an OTP for you. Okay. So that if you are the real person who has an account with this bank, then only you can perform the transaction. Okay. Otherwise, you will not receive the OTP for your email or mobile number and you will not be able to perform the transaction. So it's just to confirm whether you are the actual customer of the bank who is actually doing the transaction of this amount and all because other people should not be able to transfer your amount right that's what the otp is generally used okay it's only one example guys there are other areas also okay different applications will send otp for different reasons for identification purposes and for transaction purposes and many more guys okay this is what is the otp feature overall but if i am the person who is actually testing this otp feature what i will test okay what i will test as part of the otp i'll tell you so i'll be creating some ideas guys for testing here before you so first thing first thing is whether the application okay whether the application i am sending if it has to send an otp is it actually generating the otp or not okay application is sending the otp or not okay if the application is sending otp whether the otp is being sent to the registered okay whether the otp is being sent to the registered customers to their mobile or okay to their mobile or email addresses or not okay to the registered customers only otp need to be sent and next thing i'll check here is whether the otp that is being sent to the registered customers mobile emails okay is sent in the without any much delay or not okay otp is being sent without much delay or not okay without much delay whether the otp is being sent or not that is another test case okay another test case this is how i can perform testing guys and uh, let's say uh, there may be some situations where okay uh, fine okay the otp is sent uh, let's assume that if i enter that otp okay when i input the otp okay if i input the otp when i input the otp the transaction whatever the transaction i am going to perform right transaction is approved or not okay when i enter the when i input the valid otp that is received from the bank to my mobile or email address that particular valid otp is being accepted or not for doing the transaction or whatever it is okay what if i enter invalid otp okay i i enter a invalid or wrong otp okay if i enter a invalid or wrong otp then the transaction should not be approved okay transaction or the process should not be approved okay should not be approved this is another test case i will test now sometimes what happens is we will generate the otp okay and uh, you will not utilize the otp guys okay after the application generates an OTP, after you generate the OTP from the application and that OTP is being sent to your mobile or email, then you will not use OTP. Okay. Over a period of time, what happens is OTP will expire. Okay. That expired OTP, okay, that you have not utilized, expired OTP should not work, guys. Okay. Should not work. So after some time, you come back and then the OTP by that time is expired. And if you still use the expired OTP, to do your transaction if the transaction is approved that is a problem guys okay the expired otp should not work for you and sometimes what happens is due to some network issues or something when you generate the otp the first time when you attempt guys otp may not be sent to your mobile phone or email address okay again you need to generate the otp okay so second time third time so option two option two generate otp 
second or second and third time okay if the first otp is not received okay if you have not received otp in the first attempt uh, in the previous attempt okay should be possible you see application should allow you to generate more otps like uh, three times at least okay first otp has not received you will again generate the otp and uh, there will be some timer okay and uh, after that timer you should be able to send one more otp to your mobile or email okay an attempt to generate more otps should be possible if the first uh, previous otps have not received okay that's one thing in some cases guys in some applications what happens is whether i am able to generate the, the otps for second and third time is this one okay okay a able to able to generate uh, able to generate otp second and third time if uh, not received the previous attempt otps are not required okay not not uh, received should be possible in some applications guys able to generate able to generate otp call okay if uh, after two or three times guys uh, if uh, otp is not really received to your mobile or email uh, in that case there should be an option to generate otp call okay so finally a call will be received to your mobile phone which will speak about your otp okay so able to generate otp call if uh, otp via sms is not received to our to mobile okay to registered mobile to registered mobile etc okay like this these are the options should be there you see i'm just keeping on testing the otp functionality because all these things i need to test next thing guys okay let's say sometimes what happens is when you generate the otp the otp will not come and again you generate the otp suddenly two otps will come the old otp will come the new otp the latest generated otp will come okay when old and new otps arrive to our registered mobiles or emails okay then old et otp should no more work should no more work and only the latest received otp should work okay the, you see sometimes the otp will not be received again you generate and after some time when the network is good right again you will get two otps old will come new will come but in that old should not work new only should work okay newly generated otp should uh, override the old otp otp should old otp should automatically expire when new otp is generated that's what is another test next next thing is otp should not be simple so that people can guess it right otp should not be simple guys okay if a simple otp is coming we can easily guess okay there is a next possibility of otp is this one people should not be able to guess the otp so otp should be kind of very random and it should not be guessable whether the otp that is being sent to my mobile or a registered email address is not guessable or not is another test i'll do okay so what else okay thing is otp should be case sensitive so if there is a capital letter in the otp we should not accept the lower case letter okay so if there is a symbol it should accept the symbol okay capital letter is capital letter lower case exact otp should be accepted if you change upper case lower case it should not be allowed okay so that is another one then what else uh, what else we can think about otp is guys lot of things i have already mentioned here so what else is possible apart from this otp should not be simple so that people can guess otp should be case sensitive and all i think i covered a lot already guys let's see if i have missed any ideas okay okay and many other that's it guys okay so and uh, one more thing one more thing i think uh, the one idea i missed here is uh, single otp should not be used for multiple transaction okay only one otp should be used for one transaction again if you are performing another transaction another otp need to be another otp need to be created okay otp single otp okay single otp should not be allowed for allowed for performing multiple transactions okay and uh, you see 
single OTP should not be allowed for performing multiple transactions. Random OTP need, need to be generated and sent to the customers. Okay, should be sent to the customers. Okay, so you see if one two three four came next time one two three five came, that is guessable, right? That kind of sequential. Okay, sequential OTP should not be sent. Okay, that is sequential otps should not be sent okay should not be risk should not be sent that's another one any other things uh, okay so fine fine so yes uh, there's one more thing guys okay otp should expire okay should have some expiry time every otp should have some expiry time okay after that time the otp should expire guys okay if not then that is a problem so like this guys many are many more are possible guys many more tests are possible here okay whatever apart from whatever i have written here many other things are also possible so i am just writing a good number of uh, tests i have already written okay if i have to test the otp i will be testing like this guys. so hope guys you got the answer for this question how do you test otp feature in the applications so in the next video session i'll answer another software testing interview question. Meet you there, guys. Thank you. Bye.